Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. And here we have another dosage calculation problem. And in this case, we have an order of 0 0.5 grams, and the, the available substance is 250 milligrams per tablet. And so here we have a bit of a problem, because the grams and the available are sort of different. So the first approach we should take to doing this is dimensional analysis. And the reason why we're using dimensional analysis is because when we're converting our order to a different term, we can break it down using the dimensional analysis. So here we see we have 0 0.5 grams over 1. And to convert grams to, milli to milligrams, let's make a little value over here. So 1 gram is equivalent to 1,000 milligrams. And knowing this, we can convert this value of 0 0.5 grams over 1 to any other value. So here we're going to use this as our conversion factor, where we can see that we have one gram to every 1,000 milligrams. And in vice versa, we could say we have 1,000 milligrams to every one gram. And depending which way you're converting our problem, uh, we can use it either which way we want. In this case, we want to use this version to convert the grams to milligrams. So we're going to have 1,000 milligrams as our numerator times one gram. This is the value of one. And then we'll use our conversion factor of 250 milligrams to one tablet. And in this case, again, we need the 250 milligrams as the denominator, so the milligrams can reduce to 1, and the tab is our numerator, so that it could, re so it could convert to the tablet form. So here are 250 and our 1, and now we're ready to multiply. So here are the milligrams and milligrams reduced, the grams with the grams, and we've converted the tabs, and what we're left with is 0 0.5 times 1,000 times 1 over 1 times 1 times 250. Now usually we just multiply what we have together and resolve it at the end. So let's multiply our top, multiply our bottom, 0 0.5 times 1,000. That's going to be 500. 500 times 1 is just 500. Divided by 1 times anything is just whatever else we have. So 250 times 1 and 1 is just 250. And this is in the form of tabs. And 500 divided by 250 is perfectly 2 tabs. That's our solution. And if you had to use the other forms, which we explored earlier today, all you have to do is use those by first converting our 0 0.5 grams to milligrams, which was 500 milligrams, and then using the direct proportion or the order over available form. All right? Thank you.